Welcome to SheetWest. Today we are visualizing data. Here we have some sales data for different products. Highlight your data range, go to the insert tab, click on column chart, and here is your first chart. And now click on the chart and you see two new tabs, chart design and format. Click on chart design and you see you can choose different styles or just change the color. You can choose to switch row and column, or if you don't like the columns, you can just click on change chart type and go on lines. If you don't like the location, just go on move chart and click on new sheet. And now this graph has its own tab. As always, the right click is really mighty in Excel. So just click on one of the columns and you see you can add a trend line or you can add data labels. Now you can see the data from your table. But if you want to show a trend over time, enter the line chart, um, highlight this, go on line here and I remove it to a new sheet. And you see here are the sales January, February. We will add right click the data labels. And now to see the trend, we click and add a trend line. Here is the linear trend line and you can see it here. Trend lines show the hidden truth in your data. Now pie charts. Pie charts are perfect for showing data um, of a whole. So here's um, sales percentage of the departments, insert, pie chart. And now you can see the importance of your departments on one glance. We um, add the data labels and you can change the pie chart. If you click in it and drag and drop it like this, you will set all the pie parts part or you click in it and click again in it and now you can uh, move one part of the pie. Pie charts are perfect for showing parts of a whole. Now let's talk about scatter plots. They show the relationship between two variables. So I got a few weights, a few ages and we highlight it. Insert scatter plot and you see here is the distribution and well, so many points so we add a trend line and we see uh, average distribution of weights through the age of humans so but maybe you want to change the graphs so we make for example right click to change the data illustration and we want only to see um, the distribution between 10 and 20 years. So we click on this axis, on the X axis and format axis. Here you see bounce. We start with 10 years and go up to 20 years. And then you see 10 to 20 years. So maybe you want to see every year. So we change that to one. And now you want to change the Y axis, go on Y X, right click format and we start with 20 to 120 and after that you want to change the name human weight and drag and drop it to here and here with the plus you can add chart elements so click on it and maybe you want to see the axis titles yeah now you can here age and wait you could also enter a legend uh, or maybe the data labels so here's a brush you can click on it and change the style if you want to and the color if you want to highlight some data you could for example click here on this data set and make it red. Yeah, now you can highlight it like that and maybe choose from one of the shapes to make it more seeable, shape fill, no fill. Yeah, 
that's so beautiful and here the trend line we click on the trend line with a right click form a trend line now you can see the different options and maybe you want to see another color so you go on fill and line and say it should be the color red if we want to see it bigger or make it a little bit transparent and maybe you made a design that is so perfect for you that you want to save it. So you make a right click, go on save as template and then you create a new template. Yeah, test template, save. Now I want to show another example. Now we highlight the data, insert a line or column um, graph or chart, move it to a new sheet and you see here the employees, yeah? here are the sales. Now we want to add the salary. We click in it, add, go on series name, click on the data set, salary, okay. And we click on value series, here are the values, click on okay. And now you see it as one chart, but we want to see it separated. Yeah, So we make a right click, chain series, chart type. Now we can choose two different chart types. So sales are clustered columns. I think that's good. And salary, we will choose line. And now you have another option, secondary axis. We will uh, stay with um, the primary axis for the moment. And now you see here are the sales and here is the salary. Or you want to see it separated and we make again a right click, change series chart type and choose secondary axis, axis with their uh, own salary. Yeah. And now you can go in it, format exits and say, ah, oh, it starts with 10,000. And I think this is very useful for many tasks. And that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.